What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610, and today we have a special opening for you guys. We're going to be opening up one of the uh, Baking Collectibles uh, 2017 uh, boxes that they're doing for the end of the year, for the end of 2016. And uh, this is the Bundle A that you can get. As you can see, it is $9.99. I'll have a link to it in the description. You guys want to check it out for yourself. They're doing two different bundles. I'm going to open up this one today, and then tomorrow I'll have the other bundle that you can get. And basically from this one, it's sort of a random sort of pack thing that you have for you can get uh, one starter or structure deck that you're guaranteed one uh, deck box that's in this and then also you have uh, three random items it could be uh, accessories it can be booster packs sleeves millennium item it, it's all random on that part but you are guaranteed a starter or structure deck and then the deck box so that's a pretty good deal for ten dollars too so let's see what we can get from this like I said they sent me this to an opening on too so I might actually just use scissors because there. On these like baggy things that are tough to open with like a knife. Let's see. First off we have a deck box or a deck case. <laughs> in this one's case, Ultimate Guard. And uh, yeah, this can hold 80 cards in it. So that's actually really nice. Kind of like the Ultra Pro ones and everything. You know, it's just plastic. Has like a card divider in there too. So I guess I can open it up real quick. It'll take two seconds to do. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, there's a card divider in there. So you can separate your, like if you have two decks of cards in there, your extra deck, whatever you want to do. Side deck. So that's kind of neat. What else do we have here? I wonder what deck of cards we have. It looks like for our random items, we actually have some random packs. So we have uh, three packs here. Dragon's Legend Unleashed, Destiny Soldiers, and Hidden Arsenal 3. Oh, they know me too well. <laughs> Gotta go with those Dragoonities. And then, of course, uh, for this one, I got a starter deck, Yuya, which is actually pretty funny to get now, because we're about to get, I guess, our new starter deck next year uh, for the new series. So this is sort of nostalgic now. Let's open this up first. It's a pretty good starter deck, too. You want to get some of the Performa Pals? There you go. It's, uh, of course, your beginner's guide. Teach you everything you need to know about the game. Always, too, I recommend starter decks for, obviously, beginners. If you don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh!, always go with the starter deck. Don't go with the structure deck. If you know something about Yu-Gi-Oh! and you want to get into it, then go with the structure deck. Just want to point that out because a lot of people ask me that question. And, of course, we have our playmat. If I can open it up the right way. There we go. I like this playmat, too. I like the rainbow sort of look to it. It looks nice. I think they made a mouse pad material mat that's kind of similar to that. Yeah, I forgot how this one's a little bit different. So let me get these cards out of the plastic real quick, and then we'll go through them. All right, so here we go. First off, we have Perform Pal Slight Hand Magician. I always thought this card looked pretty cool. Even though I don't like clowns, I still think he looks pretty cool. Then we have Perform Pal King Bear, Perform Pal uh, Mom on Carpet, Perform Pal uh, Parrot Trio, and then Perform Pal Long Phone Bull, and uh, Swin Cobra. And then after that, we have Teeter, Totter, Hopper. I believe those are all the new Perform Pals that were in this. Then after that, of course, you get Odd Ice Bell Dragon. Always amazing to get. That's a good reprint, too. Stargazer Magician, Time Gazer, also Drum Gorilla. I'm not going to name off everything, but I'm just kind of naming off the like my favorite cards from this. Hip Hippo. <laughs> I like that card. Let's see, uh, Archie Eccentric, probably the best card from this whole thing. You know, this is definitely worth picking up a playset of her really amazing uh, Pendulum Monster. Beast King Barbaros, that's still a really good card, too. Uh, Giant Rat, always good too, especially for beginners. Then we have Performa Pal uh, Dramatic Theater, that's the field spell that's in this. Also Smile World, you may remember those from the anime. Then you have uh, Mystical Space Typhoon, always a good card no matter. Competitive or just for fun, it's always amazing. Lightning Vortex, Book of Moon, those are also good cards to have. Burning of the Mighty, <laughs> an annoying card for your opponents, that's fun to use. Performa Pal uh, Showdown, that's a good one. I believe that's another one of the new ones too, by the way. Ceasefire, not bad. Uh, Threatening Roar, Dark Brad, that used to be an expensive card. That's a good reprint. It's been reprinted a couple times, but still good. Film Reborn, and then you get the Hippo Tokens. So, those are kind of neat to get, too. So, yeah, that's everything from the starter deck. And let me put these over to the side. Then let's see what we get from our random packs. We're guaranteed hollows in all of these. So, <laughs> let's see. First off, Dragons of Legend Unleashed. Can't really go wrong with that when you're guaranteed... All hollow packs. All right, first off, we got the Knight of Hermos. That's awesome. Berserker's Soul. Always love that episode. Poor Weevil. <laughs> and then we have the Despair Uranus. There's, there's not a joke there. That's still an awesome Planet Series card. I'm glad they printed the rest of the Planet Series. Let's see. Destiny Soldiers. Always have to be mature whenever I get that card. <laughs> I 
Let's see. Let's get a Dark Lord. Dragoon. That's pretty cool. Diamond Dude. And we have Abyss Sector Superstar. I've been getting a lot of Abyss Sectors lately. Have they become like my spirit archetype? I don't know. <laughs> That's cool though. That's a good secret rare to get. And then last but certainly not least, we have Hidden Arsenal 3. It's been a while since I've seen this set, so let's see what we get from it. Come on, Dragoonity, you know? Let's see, well, I guess we're just going to open it the, the normal way. There we go. I'm trying to be careful. Alright, and it looks like we have a fabled monster, a fabled uh, Regin, I believe is how you pronounce his name. So yeah, it might not be a Dragoonity, but you know what, that's still an awesome secret to get from this out. I'm definitely not going to complain about a fabled monster, <laughs> so that's cool. I'm glad I got a Synchro as well. Then uh, Argenix uh, Overseer, then uh, Spellbreaker of the Ice Barrier. Maybe we'll get more Ice Barriers in the future? I don't know. <laughs> then fabled uh, uh, Topi. Then last but not least, we have Dragoonity Dark Spear. So at least we ended with a Dragoonity. You know what? That's fine with me. So yeah, there we go. That is the whole bundle. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, it's kind of, it even kind of reminds me of like the value cubes I've been opening up lately from like Target and Walmart. It's kind of that same idea where you're getting a deck of cards, even getting a deck box though with this. So that's actually better than one of the value cubes. And then you're getting a couple of packs of cards. But yeah, I think that's definitely worth picking up for $10. So uh, like I said, I have a link in the description. You guys want to check them out for yourself. Again, they sent me this to an open on so for full disclosure I'm saying that and uh, yeah just tell me what you guys think about it and if you plan on picking one of these up as always thank you guys for watching you guys are awesome be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and of course it helps out the channel a lot when you do hit that like button especially with the whole new YouTube systems and of course uh, leave a comment tell me what you guys think about this bundle and also what are the openings you guys want to see in the future like I said tomorrow we'll open up the other bundle that they have the little bit more expensive one and uh, I think it has a lot of really cool stuff in it too so I'm looking forward to seeing what we get from that and then of of course, we have a lot of OCG openings for you guys because a lot of stuff has come out, the anniversary packs and stuff too, so hope you guys are looking forward to that. And uh, subscribe too for more UK openings because like I said, the new OCG stuff, I finally got that in the mail today and uh, yeah, we have a lot of openings planned over the weekend and uh, next week for those. So uh, again, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome and of course I will catch you guys later. See ya.